More than three and a half million people rallied in Paris yesterday to show support for the city after last week's terror attacks. World leaders there included British Prime Minister David Cameron and German Chancellor Angela Merkel. But missing from the march, any senior figure from the U.S. government. Senator Marco Rubio had this to say on CBS This Morning. I thought it was a mistake not to send someone. Look, I understand when the president travels, uh, he brings with him a security and communications package, which is intense. And I understand you drop that into the middle of something like this. It could be disruptive. But Eric Holder was in Paris, and maybe John Kerry should have gone or somebody else, or a plethora of people they could have sent. I think in hindsight, I would hope that they would do it differently. I mean, we recall after 9-11 what it felt like to have all these nations around the world rally to our side and, 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 and take up our cause after we suffered so greatly on September 11th of 2001. The French are going through a similar trauma. And I, thought, I thought it would have been important to have some in there. But, but again, I understand why the president himself didn't go, but perhaps someone else from his administration. Juliana Goldman joins us now from Washington. Juliana, President Obama, Vice President Biden, and Secretary of State John Kerry were not at yesterday's rally. How significant is that, and how is the White House responding to critics about that? Yeah, good morning. Well, look, roughly 40 uh, world leaders were there. So the image uh, speaks very loudly here. And then the absence of a senior ranking administration official speaks very loudly. It was an opportunity that the U.S. missed to show solidarity uh, with one of its closest allies in the world and show solidarity uh, against terrorism. Now, today, Secretary of State John Kerry said that he will travel to Paris later this week on Thursday to show solidarity with the French people. So he will be the highest ranking U.S. official uh, to visit since last week's attacks. He made those comments. He said that in India, uh, where he said he had had a prior commitment yesterday uh, and he wasn't able to leave. He was asked about the criticism. He called it quibbling. He noted that a number of U.S. officials were in Paris and that Ambassador Jane Hartley uh, had been at the rally. Now, White House officials haven't directly explained uh, the lack of representation yesterday. One official I spoke with yesterday pointed out that the president visited the French embassy last week. He spoke with Hollande. Uh, the, that administration officials have been in contact with their French counterparts on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. And the person also noted that security requirements for the president and for the vice president uh, can be distracting from these sorts of events. And the official said that, quote, this event was not about us. Yeah, we only have about 30 seconds left, Juliana. But uh, I'm curious, does the U.S. protect our president more than these other countries protect their leaders? Yeah, it's an interesting question, Don. And on its face, you know, putting the president in the middle of a march attended by a million plus people, that's a nightmare for the Secret wow. Service. Uh, usually there are teams on the ground advancing a presidential visit, which would have been very difficult to do so close to these actual attacks. All right, Juliana Goldman in our Washington newsroom. Thank you.